vintage backyard RC. Hello friends. Well, we're ready for our second Time Attack video, and this one should be a good one. Released October of 1984, the Tamiya Hornet was basically a hot rod version of the Grasshopper. It was based off the same ABS plastic bathtub style chassis as the Hopper, but Tamiya gave you rear oil filled shocks, a full floating rear gearbox, rear tires from the Super Champ, a Lexan body, and of course that big block 540 motor. Now we covered most of these upgrades in our Hopper to Hornet video. So if you want a detailed performance analysis of all the upgrades, be sure to check that video out. All these upgrades made the Hornet faster and less bouncy on the back streets and backyard tracks of the 1980s. But how will the Hornet's upgrades fare on a tight controlled surface such as the VBRC circuit? Well, we're about to find out. Let's rock. So there you have it friends, that was about as sketchy as it gets, and with this 540 motor, well, the car handled about exactly as I thought it would. So was it faster or slower than our grasshopper? The Hornet did it in. 12.84 seconds. There you go, it's faster, case closed. No way is this car getting off that easy. Let's hit the slow motion and talk about this for a minute. Okay, yeah, so it turned a faster lap, but I won't say overall that the car is actually faster. And the truth is, all of the Grasshopper laps were actually faster than the Hornets, aside from that very last lap. And to get you a little behind the scenes here, what was a very easy drive with the Grasshopper took three or four takes with the Hornet. That first lap was terrible. We totally missed the landing of the tabletop. But because the Hornet ran its fastest lap on this take, we had to keep it all together. See, that powerful 540 not only creates a traction loss issue, its extra weight also creates an imbalance of the chassis of the car. More unsprung weight offset to one side of the rear of the car. This makes the Hornet pitch and roll funny off the face of the jump. And to pour a little salt in the wound, it messes with the front of the car too, causing massive weight transfer issues on that undampened front end on corner entry and exit. This is very noticeable on high traction surfaces, such as when the cars get up on the deck. If you take a look back at the Grasshopper video, that car rotates pretty good through the corner where the Hornet just pushes and plows through it. In fact, I had to tap the brake a few times to get the car to rotate. And again, when we were kids, if you were on a baseball field or a street or someone's open backyard, you wanted that big block 540 because it just blew the doors off the grasshopper. But on a tight little circuit like this, on a chassis that can't handle the power, it's definitely more hurtful than helpful. So the obvious thing to do here is to take that 380, stick it in a Hornet with all its extra upgrades and see how the car does. I'm not sure if we'll get to that this year. The fall's here, winter's coming, and we're running short on time. So that's it, my friends. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I want to say I appreciate all the positive comments and support you guys have given us over the past year. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you know anybody that you think would enjoy the channel, be sure to share it with them. The more we can have along for the ride, the more fun we'll all have together. Take care, rock on, and I'll talk to you all soon in the comment section.